Hello, this is Bobox here, and welcome to the third episode of the Christmas Advent series. Um, in this episode, we'll be talking about the Nintendo 64, and we've actually kind of been having a trend here, going from the Wii, and then all the way back in time to the GameCube, now the N64, but I promise next episode, it will be a little different. It won't be, I don't think it will be a Nintendo system. Well, maybe it will, it depends on your comments, really. Anyways, the first comment is from the Nintendo Fan Forever, and he says, My favorite Christmas moment was when I got my Nintendo 64. I was so happy because I got it with the best games for the console, Donkey Kong 64, Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, and Mario Party. I was so happy when I got it. Yes, um, those are actually really, really, really good games for the system. Um, I didn't have an N64 growing up, I barely have uh, any games for it right now because I just got it a couple of years ago and I haven't been really uh, collecting uh, games for it that much, but uh, uh, Donkey Kong 64, Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, and Mario Party are definitely one of the b uh, are like the best games for the console. Well, I don't really know that much for uh, Mario Kart 64 because I have that on Virtual Console but I barely played it. Um, because I just can't get used to the controls after playing games like Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart Wii, and stuff. Um, it's a little outdated compared to those games, but it still is a fun game. Um, I haven't played the original Mario Party ever. I have played Mario Party 2, and I've played m lots of other Mario Parties, as I mentioned in the, uh, in the last episode with Mario Party, where I talked about Mario Party 7. But, uh, Super Mario 64 is definitely one of my favorite Nintendo 64 games. And I, I like Donkey Kong 64 even more than Super Mario 64. Donkey Kong 64, um, Ocarina of Time, and Super Mario 64 are probably the th my three most favorite games for the console. Oh yeah, and Majora's Mask, of course. Um, I probably like that game a bit better than Ocarina of Time, but those four games... They're just like the best, the two best platforms and the two best Zelda adventure games. So yeah. Anyways, the next comment comes from Royal Gino and he says, My first game system I had gotten was the Nintendo 64 on Christmas, which came with Super Smash Bros., Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, Ocarina of Time, and Mario Kart 64. I played them all back to back for hours on end and I had a blast. Yeah, um, <laughs> we talked about this last episode that, uh, uh Bugster, Zero Zero played all his games back to back when he got them for Christmas, and it seems like Gino did the same. Um, and again, uh, that seems like a really, really cool thing to do, like play games back to back. I do never really had a video game marathon. I've played like a lot of games before, like, like maybe like a five hour long session of a game or something, but I've never really like purposely went back to back on one day, like for games I got for Christmas or whatever. That never happened to me, and I can definitely see that being a blast. If I get a lot of games for this Christmas, I'm definitely going to do that now because your guys' comments intrigued me to uh, actually do that in, like, marathon um, video games. Of course, if, I'm, if family comes first, of course, but, you know, that would be fun to do. I might even stream it once. Who knows? Anyways, the last comment for this video comes from Chaos Bender, and he says, So when I was seven, Santa brought me Super Mario 64 for Christmas. I popped it open right away. First world looking at the giant chain chomp. For the first time, I was terrified. So I had to call my mom for her to watch me get past it. Next scared for my life moment was when I got to the bottom of the water to drain the ship. I was scared when I saw the giant eel. Yeah, <laughs> well, for me, when I was younger, um, for video games, I never really got scared of video games. I've heard a lot of people in my Luigi's Mansion uh, Cocom Let's Play uh, say that they were scared of Luigi's Mansion as a kid. Me, personally, I was never really scared of uh, video games when I was a kid, because, you know, I'm a manly man. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think my most scared moment probably ever was uh, the truck in Sonic Adventure 2. I definitely, uh, when I was a kid, thought uh, certain bosses and stuff were harder just based off their aesthetic look um, than actually going into the gameplay and trying to beat it because probably back in the day, if I got to the, like, say the final boss of Super Mario 3D World when I fought Bowser, I'd be like, oh my god, he's so huge, I'd never be able to beat him, ah, but, and get, like, intimidated, but now I'm just like, whatever, you know, it's just Bowser, who cares? So, yeah. Um... Yeah, it must have been it. 
And with Super Mario 64, like, I've heard, like, how amazing it was for a lot of people because it was, like, the first ever, like, ma major 3D platformer. And, uh... I heard that, like, that game was, a like, really, really inspirational and, like, amazing to a lot of people as a kid, and it actually turned out to be their most favorite game. In my opinion, Sumo 64 isn't the best, but if I if I played a bunch of 2D games before getting Super Mario 64 and Super Mario 64, like, that would probably blow my mind, and I'd probably like it a lot more than I do now. I do love Super Mario 64. It's one of my favorites out of the 3D, uh series but the 3d mario series but you know i think i'd like it a lot more because of the, you know that revolutionary uh factor um with it so yep because uh i grew up with 3d games my first uh well my first video game was super mario bros 3 but i died on world 2 when it wasn't like the first game i owned the first game that my family actually owned was sonic adventure 2 and that was like the first game I beat and played extensively, so I was used to 3D gaming. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Again, if you have any more Christmas moments uh, that you'd like to share, please be sure to post them in the comments. And again, there's a giveaway attached to the series, and if you want to know more about it, go to my introduction video to the series. The link should be in the description below. And also, before I go, I have one last thing um, to say. I am planning to do a stream for this series sometime soon, um, and sometime like between now and Christmas, and I was wondering, um, what time would be the best for you for me to stream, because I can stream pretty much almost any time, and I want to see your guys' comments, um, to see what time would be the best for you, like what days and stuff, so, uh, uh, so not a lot of you could miss the stream because that'd be a shame if you did um since this is like a community based series where we all get together and talk so if there was like no viewers on the stream and i do it at an awkward time that that wouldn't be good so i'm guessing sometime on the weekend probably i'd be able to do it but uh in the comments please tell me what day and what time would be best for you and please specific uh specify what time zone you're talking about if you could convert everything to pst in the comments that'd be fine but if you don't know anything in pst and you're too uh, lazy to convert it just say your time zone and i'll convert it uh on my own to figure out what time zone you need anyways i've been boblax i'm looking forward to your comments on both the stream and your holiday moments uh and hopefully i'll be able to talk to you guys later i uh, sorry i haven't been updating this a lot but uh i've been a little busy Anyways, see you guys.
So, for example, PST, EST, which is specific standard time, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this is for North America. There's other time zones in uh, other parts of the world. And then there's uh, Central Time and Mountain Time. So, yeah. Um, basically, uh, if you live on the west side of North America, it'd be the specific standard time. The very east would be east. Uh, in the middle east area, it, it would be mountain. And, no, in the middle east area, it'd be, like, central. And in the middle west area, it'd be mountain. So, basically, it goes from west to east, specific a P Pacific, Mountain, Central, and Eastern. So if you didn't know your time zone, maybe you'll know it a bit more if you live in North America and you didn't know it. But, um, yeah, 